Coming up in Democast Media, I'm going to show you how to capture entire web pages and documents using Snagit. G'day, Paul from Democast Media. I'm here to make it easy to create and collaborate with others using visual communication tools. If that sounds like you, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I've been using Snagit for some time now and I love it for creating how-to documents and just getting my message across to others quickly and clearly. Make sure to go to the description below to get your own copy. And if you're watching this in March 2020, click on the special link to get 10% off your purchase. The first way to capture an entire web page is using the scrolling window feature where you want to capture a long vertical screenshot in one go. Go to image and make sure selection is set to scrolling window, then hit the capture button. You'll notice the three arrows that pop up. For this demonstration, I want to click this downward arrow to trigger the vertical screen capture. From here, Snagit takes over automatically by scrolling down the page for me and capturing the entire page top to bottom in a single screenshot. Once that's done, view the finished product in the Snagit editor. Make sure you're happy with it and then add any elements to get your message across clearly. The second way to capture large sections of your screen is by using panoramic capture. It's very similar to the panoramic feature that you would find in a smartphone. In this example, I want to capture a PDF document vertically. This time I want to change the settings to panoramic. Click and drag the crosshairs to select a portion of the document, then hit start when you're ready to go. One of the key differences to using this method compared to scrolling window is that you will need to manually scroll down the page yourself. As you do that, you'll notice a small preview window of how your screen capture is being stitched together. Once you've got what you need, press stop and snag it processes your image. Just make sure to review the screen capture at the end to make sure that you've got all the details you want. The same principle applies if I want to capture something horizontally instead. So in this example on this monday.com board, I want to trigger panoramic capture from the all-in-one menu right here. This time I click on the camera icon to achieve the same thing. Now because that portal has fixed dimensions, it's really easy to capture what I need horizontally. But what if I'm trying to capture something that doesn't have those hard limits, like say, something on a Google map? I would go through the same steps as before, selecting the panoramic icon, select the portion of the screen with the crosshairs, except this time, I wanna drag across the map in a single direction moving carefully across the page until I've got what I'm after. So while I'd love to say that Snagit is foolproof in all situations, unfortunately, you may come across certain websites that will be difficult to capture properly. If a site uses a button like this to flick through content, like a gallery, I guess, uh, Snagit's going to have a hard time piecing those frames together. You'll also need to bear in mind that certain sites that rely heavily on things like parallax effects, a Snagit might also find it hard to capture those websites properly, so just bear that in mind. Overall, I would say that Snagit does a pretty good job in capturing entire websites and documents. It will take you a long way in creating really clear, really engaging documentation, so I highly recommend it. Now, if you have Snagit and you've used these tools before, panoramic uh, capture or scrolling window, tell me your thoughts. How have you found those features? What's worked, what hasn't? I would love to get your feedback. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And I welcome all questions and comments. Leave that below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.